to the Royal Palace for the lands meet. Here we go. I'm excited. I'm excited. We've literally been building for like 50 hours to this? 60 hours? I can't remember how long we've been playing, but this Warden, is... I am not surprised it has come to this. And Alistair, if you were even remotely worthy of being called Merrick's son, you would already be in the lands meet. Now, wouldn't you? You have torn Ferelden apart to oppose the very man who ensured you were born into freedom. But do not think you oh my will God, get I look past so dumb. me to desecrate the lands meet itself. The nobles of Ferelden will confirm my lord as regent, and we can finally. Are you about to attack me right now? You are gone. Uh, do you really not see what Loghain has become? Do you mean to talk me into betraying my lord? There are not such words in all language to make that happen, Warden. Now let us end this! Two arms, men. All right, well, you just signed your death warrant. I did not expect this. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's focus on the other guys first, I guess. It. You know what? Sokolpion's actually pretty low. If if she dies, do we lose the XP from killing all these guys? I guess not. I think she did die. That's fine then. Sometimes when you kill like the, the important person, the fight just ends and you don't get to kill the rest of them. And then you lose out on whatever XP you could have got. So I didn't want to risk it. Uh, right. Where's she? It's going to be her as a character, right? Uh, where's she going to be? I must have gone over her. Oh, there it is. So Corthian. Some of us know what honor and loyalty are. Corthrian came to Loghain's surface the hard way. She belonged to a poor family and was out doing work on the farm when she saw a man on horseback being attacked by several bandits. She rushed to, rushed to his assistance and found out belatedly that the man she saved was none other than the great hero Loghain. Though she was hardly more than a child, he took her in, offering her a position with his soldiers and she climbed through the ranks through sheer determination. Becoming the commander of Marek's shield, Loghain's elite soldiers, was the proudest moment of her life. She was slain while trying to stop Dalen from entering the landsmeet. Oh, you silly Billy, you shouldn't have opposed me. The Summer Sword? 20 physical resist and chance to knock target back and 15 damage? Oh, right, it's two-handed. That was pretty cool. The Mark of Versen of Halam Sharal, believed to be the greatest smith in the history of the Elysian Empire. Oh, and a codex entry for it? All right. In 884 Blessed, Lord Aurelian of Montsimard, champion of the great tourney of Ansberg, commissioned a sword for his youngest son, Louis, 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 who aspired to the Chevaliers. Insisting that his boy have nothing but the best, Lord Aurelian sought out the most renowned master smith of the Orlesian Empire, Versen of Halam Sharal, who was at that time nearly 80 and begged the old man to make the blade. Versen refused. His sight was failing him and he had no wish to come out of retirement. But Aurelian offered an exorbitant sum of gold and eventually overcame the artisan's resistance. The old master laboured for several months, folding steel, honing the, age to, honing the edge to perfection. The resulting blade was as long as a man is tall, and sharp as the tongue of any noblewoman. Versen proclaimed it to be his greatest work, and named it, in a fit of irony, the Summer Sword, since he had crafted it, crafted it in the winter of his lifetime. Lord Aurelian brought Louis with him to receive the sword from the hand of the old master. When the boy saw the Summer Sword, he turned up his nose at his father's gift, such great two-handed blades were no longer in fashion at court. He preferred an estoc. Aurelian was mortified. He insisted that Louis carry the blade and apologised to Versenne, but to no avail. The swordsmith cursed the boy, saying that for his pride, regardless of the blade he carried, he would fail anyway. Louis was eventually knighted and joined the ranks of the Chevaliers. In 898 Blessed, he was appointed command of the Chevaliers in Denerim and hoped to make a name for himself. And so he did. He was the most detested Chevalier in Ferelden well known for his acts of depravity. In 9-1 Dragon, he met Loghain Mactir in battle at Avinash. Louis lost his estoc early in the fighting, became separated from his men, and ended up facing down Loghain himself, armed only with the Summer Sword, 
which he had never before drawn. Practice might have saved him where pride did not. Loghain made short work of the pompous chevalier and took the greatsword as a trophy. That is a really cool bit of lore and very in-depth for a sword that is just like, at the end of the game, just you kill someone, you get another sword. <laughs> That's, there was a lot to get out of that. That's cool. Oh boy. Here we go. The autosave. The autosave means we're about to be in some big stuff. My lords and ladies of the Landsmeet, Tyrn Loghain would have us give up our freedoms, our traditions, out of fear. He placed us on this path, yet we should place our destiny in his hands? Must we sacrifice everything good about our nation to save it? A fine performance, Eamon. <laughs> But no one here is taken in by it. Did you not just see them all clapping You would him? attempt to put a puppet on the throne, and every soul here knows it. The better question is who will pull the strings. Ah! Here we have the puppeteer. Tell us, Warden. How will the Orlesians take our nation from us? Will they deign to send their troops, or simply issue their commands through this would-be prince? What do they offer you? How much is the price of Ferelden honor now? Uh, I'm not the one who betrayed Ferelden. The blight is the threat here, not all a. Well, obviously I'll take a persuade option. Uh, I'm guessing that these are probably important. This is actually, we're, we're trying to convince people here not to support him. I wonder if you can, I, I mean, you probably can lose, right? Uh, I don't know. Are they going to be receptive to hearing that he betrayed Ferelden? Or are they going to be more receptive to a plan for the future rather than saying this person who you once looked up to is actually bad now? Probably more receptive to the blight as the threat here like because they that is something that they can they know about they can see coming whereas Ole like is far out of view i guess there are enough refugees in my banor now to make that abundantly clear the south has fallen Loghain. will you let darkspawn take the whole country for fear of Ole? the blight is indeed real wolf but do we need gray wardens to fight it the same way they you claim that have. they alone can end the blight, yet they failed spectacularly against the Darkspawn at Ostagar, and they asked to bring with them four legions of chevaliers. And once we open our borders to the chevaliers, can we really expect them to simply return from whence they came? You fled the field at Ostagar and left Caelan to die. You sold Ferelden citizens into slavery to fund your war. You allowed Rendon Howe to imprison and torture innocents. Uh, well, these are all good, and none of them say persuade, so I don't know. <laughs> oh, God. Uh... We have proof of that one. Do we... Yeah, we have proof. Yeah, we have a dude that said he'd support us, right? He should be in the room, I think. Uh, yeah, let's go with that one. The warden speaks truly. Yes, my here he is. son Here's was that taken boy. under cover of night. The things done to him. Some of them are beyond any healer's skill. Howe was responsible for himself. He will answer to the Maker for any wrongs committed in this life, as must we all. But you know that. You were the one who murdered him. Whatever Howe may have done, he should have been brought before the Seneschal. There is no justice in butchering a man in his home. Justice. No, then why did you send a blood mage to poison Arl Eamon? Ooh, that could be good. Steal the throne from your own daughter. Justice in selling elves to Tevinter. You left Caelan to die. I mean, the, the best retort has got to be the one that is most specific to what he just said. There is no justice in butchering a man in his home. No, then why did you send a blood mage to poison Arl Eamon? I assure you, Warden, 
If I were going to send someone, it would be my own soldiers. I would not trust to the discretion of an apostate. Indeed, my brother tells a very different tale. He says you snatched a blood mage from the Chantry's justice. Coincidence? Do not think the Chantry will overlook this, Terran Loghain. Interference in a Templar's sacred duties is an offense against the Maker. Whatever I have done, I will answer for This is later. going pretty well. We got a lot of people on the side. Moment. However, I wish to know what this warden has done with my daughter. Uh we're discussing your crimes, what are you talking about? What have I done? I've protected her from you. Yeah. You took my daughter, our queen, by force. Killing her guards in the process. What arts have you employed to keep her? Does she even still live? I believe I can speak for myself. <gasps> Lords and ladies of Ferelden, hear me. This warden has slandered ha! and defamed I knew she was a fucking bitch. A I knew not to fucking have Rome. Alistair go with her. I knew you were working with Logan. Well, no, I don't know. She wasn't working with him. She's probably just trying to bend the situation to her advantage. Hmm. I mean, he didn't try to kill her, did he? He locked her up. There was talk of killing her, but that was from Hal. We didn't know if Loghain would actually try and kill her. It seemed plausible, because he's a terrible person. But I think if I say that, that will ring false, because we don't actually... He didn't actually try and kill her. I don't know if I should say this, though, because I also think she did intend to betray him, and she's now just making the best of the situation? I don't know. Should we just go with what? None of these seem good. What is kind of rubbish, but then that's not true, and I don't think that's true either, so... Uh, this is a tough one. We're doing pretty well so far, though, so... Hopefully, doesn't matter. Hopefully, I won't, like, fuck it up with a single bad choice. I don't know. Let's just go with what, I guess. Oh, when she turned on us. What a shock. She seemed like such a nice despot. Huh. It has become clear to me, Warden, that the true threat to this nation is you. I offered you the chance to ally with me for the good of this nation, and you refused it. Oh, so I that makes me the threat. I will to destroy the throne Kaelin and I have held. Who here can say that Anora is not fit to rule this land? And who can say that this Alistair is? We know nothing of him, save that he may have royal blood. For five years, Anora has been queen and proven herself worthy of the Theron name. She can lead our people through this crisis, and I can lead her armies. My lords and ladies, our land has been threatened before. It's been invaded and lost and won times beyond counting. We can't let him keep we fucking monologuing. We Ferelden's have proven that we will never truly be conquered so long as we are united. He's a good speaker. You can't let him do let this. We must not let ourselves be divided now. Stand with me and we shall defeat even the Blight itself. Southreach stands with the Grey Wardens. The Warden helped me personally in a family matter. Waking Sea stands with the Grey Warden. Dragon's Peak supports the Warden. Okay, this is going the well. Western Hills throw their lot in with the Wardens. Ah, <laughs> this is going very well. I stand by Loghain. All right, dickhead. With no hope of victory. Go otherwise. polish that dome, mate. I stand with the Warden. The Blight is coming. We need the Grey oh, Warden. Oh, this is going so well. Get absolutely fucked on. Get absolutely fucked on. I knew the people of Ferelden would do the right thing. Wanker! Traitors! Which of you stood against the Orlesian Emperor when his troops flattened your fields and raped your wives? You fought with us once, Eamon. You cared about this land once. Before you got too old and fat and content to even see what you risk. 
None of you deserve a say in what happens here. None of you have spilled blood for this land the way I have. Cry. How dare you judge Hope. me. Seethe. Weep. Mauled. I can just fucking attack him? Call off your men and we'll settle this honorably? What do you mean, call off your men? He hasn't... Are his men surrounding us? Did I miss something? I didn't think he'd set his men on us. How do we settle this honorably? Is he not going to stand down? I'm not going to do... That would make us look super bad. I'm not going to do that. Let's honorably, honorably? Then, let us end this. I suppose we both knew it would come to this. A man is made by the quality of his enemies. Marek told me that once. I wonder if it's more a compliment to you or me. Enough. Let the landsmeet declare the terms of the duel. It shall be fought according to tradition. A test of arms, in single combat until one party yields. And we, who are assembled, will abide by the outcome. Will you face me yourself, or have you Wait, a champion? What? The outcome is going to be... Wait, actually, this is dumb as fuck. Literally everyone except one person just voted for me. So why would we accept trial by combat? The votes have been cast almost unanimously. All but one voted for us. So surely that means that's it. We don't need to fight. That seems weird to me. Like, are the votes not binding or something? Like, with such overwhelming support, I don't know why we'd... I don't know why we'd do it. But, uh, I guess that's the only option? <laughs> Win will stand as my champion. No, I'll fight this duel myself. It is you or me the men will follow. So, let us fight for it. Prepare yourself. All right. You can't hit what you can't see, bitch. I'm translucent. Well, you can sort of see me, but, you know, it's, it's hard. Bit of me is in the fade, mate. I guess I should swap to magic and do something to begin with. Now, let's see. Which one? Hello. Fun? You're on camera. Say cheese. <laughs> uh, okay, let's try freezing him and then kicking the shit out of him. That did not work. What about that? Okay, that's good. And then we swap. Right. And I'm on. Donk. Miss. Oh god, he's got a lot of health, huh? He can't hit me, though. I do not fear death! Come and get me if you die! Okay, well, that was really easy. I underestimated you, <laughs> I thought that was going to be difficult. I thought you were like Kalen, a child wanting to play at war. I was wrong. There's a strength in you that I have not seen anywhere since Marek died. I yield. Ooh. Ooh. You'll die for what you've done or I accept your surrender. Hmm. I accept your surrender. I didn't just hear you say that. You're going to let him live? After everything he's done? Kill him already! Wait, there is another option. The Tern is a warrior and general of renown. Let him be of use. Let him go through the joining. Ooh. That's an interesting idea. You want to make him a warden? Why? I mean, I know why, because then he'd actually be helpful, and... I mean, he might not even survive the joining, but... There are three of us in all of Ferelden, and there are compelling reasons to have as many wardens on hand as possible to deal with the Archdemon. And he is a good fighter. The joining itself is often fatal, is it not? If he survives, you gain a general. If not, you have your revenge. Doesn't that satisfy you? Absolutely not! 
Riordan, this man abandoned our brothers and then blamed us for the deed. He hunted us down like animals. He tortured you. How can we simply forget that? Oh. Oh, this is a toughie. This is a toughie. Loghain has to die for his crimes, or Riordan has a point we should put him through the joining. Hmm. I don't know. Points in favour of putting him through the joining. He is obviously a great fighter. He's risen through the ranks because of his skill. Uh, he might not survive it anyway, so in that case, like, who cares? And there's a fucking blight on, and we do need as many wardens as possible. Points against. He is a complete motherfucker. <laughs> he is the worst person in this game. He has tried to poison and kill Al Eamon. He betrayed and abandoned uh, Kaelin. He was accepting and... In well, I don't know about encouraging, but permissive of slavery and human trafficking. He was keeping people down in his fucking torture dungeons. So, like, he's just the worst kind of person. Do we want to add the worst kind of person to the Wardens? And then also, there's someone that used to have so much power. He would probably want to retain some power. He'd probably want to, like, try and be the leader of the Wardens or something. And would we want to give him that opportunity to maybe take back some control and maybe that would go badly? Because he's going to be fucking pissed no matter what, right? Like, he's not going to be happy with how this has ended. So leaving him alive might, like, backfire on us later on. And also, Alistair fucking hates him and would be very mad if we let him live, it seems. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. This is actually the toughest choice in the game. I think I named the episode where I had to choose between Leliana and Morrigan the hardest choice. But uh, scratch that. This is actually the hardest choice. What to do? What to do with such a terrible person who could be of use? Is it worth the risk that we keep him alive and he could it could come back to haunt us later? Because he's still going to have his followers. Like, we even saw that there was one dude, leader of whatever house, that was supporting him. He still will have his followers, even if we make him a Grey Warden, I'm pretty sure. But he's just such a terrible person. I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if we want to keep him alive. But maybe it's an all-hands-on-deck type situation for the Blight. There's so many, like, I don't know. There's so many possibilities of how this could go. It could go fine. If we keep him alive, could be absolutely fine. He might just be a great warden. We could say it's alright and then he dies in the joining. We could have him stay alive and then he fucking turns around and takes back power and somehow, I don't know. And then what if we kill him and then we end up losing? I, I've got to imagine that we will beat the blight. But what if, like... There's a fail state where you don't have him on side, and then that means that you don't have enough to overcome the bite or something. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. What did you guys do? I'm curious to know. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to know alt outcomes. Uh, so don't give me, like, alt outcome spoilers, but just this very choice. Did you kill him, or did you let him live? That's all I want to know. No, no, few, no alternative outcomes to whatever I get or anything, because I'd rather... I mean, I might replay one day. I don't know, I don't know. I don't, I don't like knowing how things could have gone. I'd rather just have, this is my playthrough, this is how I went. But I am curious what people chose here. Oh, man. I am <laughs> stalling so hard. I don't know. I don't know. Fuck. Uh, shit. I'm leaning towards this. I'm leaning towards Riordan has a good point. We should put him through the joining. Because, like, he is a great fighter. And it will help. But I'm just... I don't know. Alistair's going to take that badly, I think. Hmm. 
All right. Decision made. Riordan has a point. We should put him through the joining. Joining the Wardens is an honor, not a punishment. Name him a Warden and you cheapen us all. I will not stand next to him as a brother. I won't. We need all the help we can get, Alistair. Loghain is a traitor. We need him like we need to be stabbed in the back. <laughs> or have you forgotten how his being a great general didn't help the last time? I didn't want to be king. I still don't. But if that's what it takes to see Loghain get justice, then I'll do it. I'll take the crown. Listen to this. Can you see how disastrous a king he'd be? Putting his own selfish desires above the needs of his country? You can't seriously support him. I thought maybe the two of you could marry? Is that like the good outcome? I mean, she's terrible. But is he saying that if... Is he saying that he's going to kill Loghain if he is the king? Is that what he's saying? Is this like a fucking Orzammar situation where I gave Balin the crown and then he was like, right, as my first act as king, I'm going to murder my fucking opponent. Would Alistair do that? I think he I think he would. I don't think he'd do that to like many people, but I think he hates Loghain enough that he would. And I mean I hate him too, but Oh god, this is so difficult. I didn't expect another fucking layer on top of the previous choice. I thought that would be the choice. But now it's like because I think Alistair would be a good king as well, but if making Alistair king means he then kills Loghain, is that a good thing? But then, if we make Anora the queen... Then, like, she's awful. She's betrayed us twice. She betrayed us to the guards, could have easily gotten us killed then, and then she walks in the lands meet and betrays us again. I can't put her on the throne, can I? Maybe the two of you could marry? You thought... No! Just... No! Did you take a blow to the head? I'd rather marry the Archdemon. Not even if the Maker himself appeared and commanded it, Warden. Well, fuck. <laughs> I was hoping that if I chose that, then they would go together and then maybe um, she would stop him from killing Loghain. But, you know what? I actually... You probably have to um, tell her about making, getting them to marry beforehand because I that was a specific point which I could have said and instead I said no I won't support you back in the house I bet if I'd have oh man fuck if I'd have said that if I'd have if I'd have told her about the pro prospect of marriage beforehand would they have actually done it there I don't know this is the worst <laughs> And by worst, I mean best. Like, I love this kind of, like, fucking hard choices. But, like, holy shit. This is, like, just a whole new... Because I, I think Alistair would be a much better king than Anora would be a queen. But he's saying his first act is going to be to murder Loghain. And I just fundamentally feel like that's a bad idea. I think we should have him as a warden. That's... What a choice. What a choice. Make the best choice here and the worst choice and the other thing happens. Or make the worst choice here and then the best choice and the other thing happens. You win and lose with both options in different ways. Mm. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck a doodle do. She would probably be an okay queen. I mean, she has been running things for five years. She has got the experience, but I just don't think because she wants it, it makes me not want to give it to her. Whereas Alistair doesn't want it, but would has all the qualities that make a good person. Although now he's saying he's just going to murder Loghain, but then like Loghain has done so much against him. Ugh, I don't know. Like, I can understand where Alistair's coming from, absolutely. Like, I kind of want to just fucking kill Loghain as well but it's just like if you can have an extra warden against the blight 
and he's been removed from power, could he take back power, potentially? But, like, Alistair's argument is just, I won't be with someone this shitty, but it's like, the Wardens pretty much take whoever, as far as I can tell. So long as you can fight, you're in. So he probably has served with some shitty people before anyway. Mm. I can't believe I get this choice. <laughs> I'm the deciding factor on who gets to be the ruler of the fucking country, like... Oh, man. And Alistair's my bro, you know? I love Alistair. I don't want to fuck him over. But I think he's being kind of childish. A little bit. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> fuck me. Mm. Again, there's just so many. It's so hard. These are brilliant decisions. These are fantastic. This is the best part of the game. It's just like, here's a tough decision. Here's a tough decision. Here's a fucking, like, and even just the start of it. Like, trying to convince everyone. Although, I think I think a lot of people were supporting me because of what I did before the actual lands meet. Like, side quest people. I wonder if it's possible to get the votes if you don't do the side quest. But then it just came down to a trial by combat anyway, even though we had all the votes. So, all but one. So, I don't know. I don't know. Um... Ooh. Fuck. Very well. Anora will remain on the throne. Final answer. Thank you, Warden. You were wise not to disrupt Ferelden's governance any further in a time of such crisis. You're siding with her? How could you do this to me? I'm sorry, man. You, of all people. I'm really sorry. <laughs> I'm really sorry. Uh, I'm trying to do what's best for Ferelden. I think that she... I think the benefit of having Loghain on our side and still having a ruler that does know what she's doing because she's already been doing it for five years is a greater benefit than putting someone who I do think would be better but doesn't have the experience and losing the additional warden in the fight against the Blight. I think when you put both of those things on the scales, I think it's more important. Like, both ways we get a ruler who sort of knows what they're doing, but this way we also get another force against the Blight. So that's, that's, that's like my end thought process there, is I think that that wins out on balance. I'm trying to do what's best for Ferelden, man. What is wrong with you? I thought we were friends. Now you're siding with a man who killed Duncan. Uh, what are you saying? I, I can't do it. I can't. Ask me for a pound of my flesh. Or all the gold in Orle. But don't ask me to accept that monster as a brother. I mean, you don't have to I work don't have together. Any choice, do I? I'm leaving. No. I'm afraid it's not so simple as that, Alistair. You already got what you wanted. Your murdering father gets a place amongst the Grey Wardens. He might not even what survive the joining, you bro. From me? Your life, unfortunately. What? So long as you live, no. rebellions can be raised in your name. Our land cannot endure another civil war. I must call for your execution. No, I didn't put you on the fucking throne to fucking execute him. Holy shit, you can agree with her? You can give him a sorry, Alistair, and just allow him to be executed after all you've been through? No. You owe me a boon. Let him go. You better fucking not. This is what you would ask? Very well. Okay. Though I think it a mistake. Alistair. She's you such a bitch. On condition that you oh my swear god. Before this Have I made a massive meet, mistake? You announce all claim to the throne for yourself and all your heirs. That's what it'll take, huh? Fine. I don't want anything to do with this place or any of you people. Ever. I swear it. Time for me to go. Good luck. You'll need it if he actually survives the joining. What if he doesn't? What are you actually leaving? Are you actually piecing out? He might not even survive. And then we're all good. For you. Oh, 
I don't think I can change his mind. You'll always be welcome, Alistair. Have fun ending the blight. Or whatever. I guess you made your decision, right? So goodbye. Oh, my heart! And now, lords and ladies I of can't Ferelden, believe that! There is still a blight to defeat, and armies to gather. I and love I Alistair! this man to lead <laughs> us in both. We will not allow this land to be further threatened by the Archdemon. Gather your forces, and await the Warden's command. On the morrow, we shall begin our struggle against the greatest threat Ferelden has ever faced. And we shall triumph over it, for we are Ferelden. Oh my god, so he's actually like you fully are called out the upon team? to submit yourself to the taint for the greater good. <laughs> submit to the From taint, this mate. moment forth, you are a Grey Warden. Unless you die, I but I'm guessing you're not going to. Understand. Or? Unless? Is he actually dead? No, she looks happy. So it's done. My father lives, and for good okay. or ill, he is now a Grey Warden. Thank you for giving him the opportunity to undergo the ritual. It couldn't have been easy. It wasn't. I, I think I've lost my best mate. One of my best mates. <laughs> Your betrayal made it far less easy, by the way. I was trying to protect my father. Is that so wrong? I wanted a solution that worked for you as well as I. And I think we have it. It didn't work Arl for Aemon Alistair. has left for Redcliffe and tells me that our armies have almost fully gathered there. I will be heading there myself. Bring your companions and join us at Redcliffe Castle as soon as you are able. You have united for Elden Warden. Now we face the Blight. Oh my god. Poor Alistair though. Oh boy. The final battle. Wait, did we just get a level out of that? How much fucking XP did that give? What? Wait. Has it gone... I thought I was already level 21. Wasn't I already level 21? Wait, when did I die? Penalty to attack? When did that happen? I thought I was already level 21. How have I got another level? I mean, I won't complain. I think 25 dex is pretty good. Let's... Oh, wait, it's a one-point thingy. Oh, it wasn't a full level. It was just a, like a... Okay. Well, then, brilliant. We get haste. Fantastic. Fantastic. Wait, Loghain is... Oh! Oh, shit. Loghain is like a proper party member now? Level 21 warrior. Oh, he's just like a straight replacement for... For Alistair. Holy fuck, man. He's maxed out on both of these. That's pretty good. Well, then I don't care. You're a little bit poisonous, mate. Have poison making. Are you sure you want to accept these changes? Yes. Wait, he's got has he got the skill that I was told goes badly with haste? Uh Logan. He's right at the end. He has, hasn't he? That one apparently is really bad to have with haste, so I should make sure he doesn't use that. Uh, that's fine. He doesn't have it as a thing. And then we set him to aggressive. Cool. Okay. Holy shit. What a twist. <laughs> oh my god. What, what are you wearing? I've just sold all the gear. Are you, have you, is your gear any good? Wait, what happened to the gear Alistair was wearing? Is there any way I can get that back and put it on you? Because I'm pretty sure it would be better. 
The Landsmeet has declared that Queen Honora will continue to rule. The Blight will not prevail against the strength of United Ferelden. Main quest now. The final onslaught. Oh shit. Head to Redcliff to prepare your army. You've gathered your allies. Now it is time to head to Redcliff where your army assembles. It seems the Darkspawn are heading that way and are poised to attack there. This is the full end game, right? I mean, the final onslaught, the final battle. Yeah, this is it. This is fucking it. Yes. Codex updated. Alistair. Shit, man. Uh, unable to accept the decision to spare Loghain's life, Alistair left and has not been seen since. Alistair is fascinated by... Oh, right, no, that's just the... Oh, that's just the gifts. Man, we had him at, like, max affinity. I feel like at max affinity, there should be, like, a little bit of leeway where he doesn't quit. Alistair's the homie. The bro from the very start, before Morrigan, before Leliana. It was just me and Alistair against the world. Oh, man. That is... So sad. I feel like I... Oh, I feel like I made the right decision. I feel like I made the right decision, but it's so hard to know. But it was like, yeah. Either way, we get someone who I think would be a competent ruler, but then this way we also get another fucking sword against the blight. Oh, man. I don't know. She made her way to Eamon's Denerim estate and there offered her aid in defeating her father at the Landsmeet. However, when the hour came, she publicly supported her father, decrying the wardens as slanderers and regicides. The bands fell in line behind Eamon and Dalen. Loghain, however, would not accept defeat easily. He filled the room with troops and attempted a coup. Oh, okay. Well, that explains... Right. I guess I missed the bit where he filled the room with troops and I didn't realise it was a coup. Fighting erupted, breaking the long tradition of the landsmeet, which was ultimately settled with a duel. Wait, fighting didn't erupt, though. What? I mean, he did have soldiers next to him, but I thought they were just, like, protection. I didn't realise he'd just filled the room to try and, like win despite having the votes. I guess I just, I don't know, did I just blank on that? Was I too busy thinking about decisions and shit to notice that that was what was happening? I guess maybe. But fighting never erupted. I don't know. It was just the jaw. In the end, Honora was granted the throne and Alistair walked out of the landsmate chamber, landsmate chamber never to be seen again. Is that it? Like we're literally never going to see Alistair ever again? Wait, there's more. Uh, probably for... Where is he? Loghain? Uh, Loghain? His actions sparked a civil war. Loghain supporters found themselves fighting their neighbours who blamed Loghain for the death of the king, as well as those who simply wished to take advantage of the power vacuum. He was defeated in single combat at the Landsmeet and sentenced to undertake the joining ritual. He survived and rejoined the fight for Ferelden as a Grey Warden. Man, oh man. White sugar for those cakes, Alana. Not barley sugar. They're for the arl. Really, is, is Alistair's gear, like, gone forever? Because that was some good fucking gear, and I'd like to give it to Loghain. <laughs> Where would it be? I don't know if he would have taken it off or anything. Seems unlikely. Oh, what a hard fucking choice. Wait, that's the same room. <laughs> no. Maybe Eamon has it? Oh, Eamon's not here. Skill issue, Sag. Yeah, I think all that's. I think it's all gone. I think it's all lost. I spent a hundred and fucking fifty odd gold. Oh hi, on that shit, man. His weapon was so expensive, and he's just fucking taking it. Hey, bro. Why are you, uh, drawing your sword at a bookcase? 
Let's not spend more time here than we must. Uh, okay. Nice chatting with you. Fuck, man. <laughs> Poor Alistair. I feel really bad. I do feel really bad. Yes. Yes. All right. He literally replaces him, not just, like, figuratively, as, like, he, oh, he replaced him, but, like, he literally is stood in his very spot on the screen. Oh, my God. Indeed. Yes. Does Loghain have fucking party banter? I can't believe he's even like... I can't believe he is a party member. The guy that we have been fucking against the entire game. That has been trying to kill us. That has been trying to kill our friends. He actually can become a party member? That's insane. I've never seen that before. Like, I'm trying to think of any time in Mass Effect. Did, did an enemy ever join us as a party member in Mass Effect? I don't think so. Like, we had assassins and shit on the team, like Thane, but... I don't think we had anyone who was, like, a full-on villain. Big, That would be, like, Elusive Man joining the party or something. I don't know. That's crazy. That's crazy. I would love it if you could just pop some banter. Can you banter with Wynn? Tan Logan. Or you Leliana? Great stories about King Merrick. Oh... Are you looking for a new slant on the ones they tell in Orlay? No, no. Oh, does everything have to be about nationality with you? Why must every moment of life have to be a matter of politics? Do you think they do not admire Merrick in Orlay? Because they do. There is nothing like a dashing rebel prince to capture the imagination, you know. Even when he rebels against you? Especially then. It makes him roguish, much more romantic. And if you must face overwhelming numbers of chevaliers with only a few untrained farmers, then he's even more valiant. Liliana, this runs counter to all sense and accountability. People aren't sensible creatures all the time, and stories are accountable to no one. Have you never loved a tall tale simply because it made your heart race? <laughs> you can... Huh, all you like, <laughs> you know I'm right. Oh, I love you, Leliana. You can huh, all you like. <laughs> oh, man, what an interesting fucking... Oh, God. But I guess it feels like we're right at the end of the game with everything being called, like, the final battle and shit. So I guess he's not actually going to be around for long. <laughs> it would be really interesting if you could get him, like, halfway through the game and then take him places and stuff, but it seems like we're pretty much done, so. Redcliffe Village. Okay, well, not yet, not yet. Uh, back to camp. For, I guess, a final round of chats. Who's a good boy? For the final time, who's a very good boy? Who's best papa? Rare pooch. Love you, woofer. What say you? Uh, any By all means. any new things here? No. What say you? Again? I nope. Did I get any? What? What? Uh, what gifts do I have left? Oh, no gains. Who the maps are for? Oh my god! Very interesting. Mirror of polished glass in a gold frame. Golden deer and sparrows frolic together. Maybe Leliana? I don't know. Okay, so you have nothing. Things are coming to a head fairly quickly, aren't they? Are you ready? Wait, what? I hope so. We need to overthrow Loghain? Uh... <laughs> glances behind me. Uh... <laughs> hey, Loghain. Uh... I'm I'm so curious. Like, is it just is this just old dialogue that's popped at the wrong time? What happens if I say this? I'm not talking just about Loghain, but about the Blight, the Archdemon. You will have to face him. 
The last Grey Wardens. Yeah, it's really hard to hit me as a thing. So much is expected from you. It hardly <laughs> seems fair either to you or to Alistair. It really apparently doesn't seem much fair to Alistair at all. You are so young. You face death every day. You know you are unlikely to live long. Does it frighten you? I would gladly give my life for others. And you sacrifice that others may live. Yes. The first blight in 400 years, and here you are, the fulcrum on which it all turns. Whatever happens, you will become legend. I am and legend. If we should prevail, even if you die, you will live on in the memories of those you sacrificed everything for. That's all I could ask for. And perhaps one day, they will forget. But it will not erase what you did. Every new day that they see will be because of you. And nothing in this world will ever make that untrue. Aw, oh, thanks, Wynne. <laughs> this is going to go to my head, you know. I see you've kept your sense of humour through all this. It will serve you well in the coming days. What's on your mind? I will answer to the... All right. Have your last glug glugs, Wynne. Oh, marvellous. Oh, marvellous. Oh, hey, we didn't give Woofer the bone. There you go, Woofer. Woof, woof. You're welcome, bud. Ogren. What do you want? Something's bothering you. Aye, people talking when I'm trying to have a sudden quiet moment. That really twists my nut. Your nut Did you want to talk about something? What about... All right. I all right then. Okay, nothing for him. Wait, he approves and got a new ability? Sure. <laughs> yeah, uh, meant to do that. Leliana, my once lover. What's up? I know that look. You have something on your mind, don't you? Nothing new for you? Of course. Of course I do. I love no. story. Good chats. You know what? Do you want this mirror? No, that won't work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just straight up, nah. I have been mistaken. What do you mean? You are a soldier worthy to stand among the Beresad. I did not think so when we first met. Ah. What changed your mind? You did, of course. The day will come when the Arishok sends us here. On that day, I will not look to find you on the battlefield. Okay. You think the Kunari will invade Ferelden? In time. There is no point in dwelling on it. We should move on. Okay. Speak, then. Then I suggest we move on. I am hardly surprised. Very well. Speak, then. Then okay, I suggest nothing. we move on. As you wish. Hey, Sten, would you like a mirror? Unwise. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> It speaks. It doesn't have bet on. There's no way Shale wants a mirror, right? I really don't know who this would go to. Terrible idea. Morrigan, would you like a mirror? Your desire? So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> Your desire? We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. Are you still against doing the deed, even on the eve of our final fucking conflict? I said no. God Leave me damn, be lady. If that is your only interest. I might be about to die tomorrow, you know? We are in I camp. I guess I'll take a so kiss. Ah, such a romantic, I see. I wonder how that works when I'm, like, half not there. <laughs> Morrigan, would you like a mirror? What have you there? Oh, a mirror. she would. It is just the same as the mirror which Flemeth smashed on the ground so long it's ago. It's an actual fucking, like, special one? It is incredible like, that you found one, one so like it. I am uncertain what to say. You must wish something in return, certainly. 
I can't believe it's a special one. I would never have guessed. Uh, it's simply a present for a beautiful woman. I have never received a gift. Not one that did not also come with a price attached. Perhaps there is a price to pay yet. Hmm? <laughs> if so, it is deserved. Thank you. Truly. Aww. Your desire? Is that, so, has that triggered anything new? Full of questions. Your <laughs> Maybe desire. now we can we are in go camp, to bed? So tis as good as I said no. Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, Loghain, do you have any, uh, borders yet to be willpower? Uh, sure. Have some electricity damage, I guess. What do you, you're using a regular 11 strength sword. I could give you star fang. Did I say 11 strength? Oh, it requires 11 strength. 7 damage, right. This is 11.9. That's... Oh, it's two-handed. Alright, you can have Starfang then. Loghain's shield. Oh, I just sold those fucking six shields, didn't I? Son of a bitch. Whatever. Whatever. That's fine. Uh, so, I will Enchantment. give you... Starfang. Who would have thought when I got Starfang and I was fucking not knowing what to do with it? Who would have thought it would end up going to fucking low gain? Uh. All right. Chance of paralysis. Yes. We're going to fight the darkspawn. So damage versus darkspawn. Yes. Uh. And then fat physical resist. I guess. You're welcome. Ah, I heard rumors that Red Cliff was once again open for business, but my word, isn't this amazing? Such bustle. The Oral has kindly offered my son and I lodgings in exchange for supplies. I'm happy to help him. And you too, of course. If you have need of my wares, you have but to ask. Any rumors, mate? It's good that Queen Enora has been chosen to remain on the throne. She will be a good ruler, even if Tyrn Loghain is not there to guide her hand. He's, he's behind That's what you. I've heard on the road, anyhow. <laughs> Take, Take it, it for me. what it is. It's not just Darkspawn and the Horde, you know that? There are people with them. Folks who are sick with the blight, and their minds are all twisted and mad. Oh, great. I heard tell of a man meeting his own brother on the field, yet when he called out to him, his brother didn't even recognize him and just attacked. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take, Take it, for, it what for what it is. Some folks are angry that Tern Loghain was allowed to become a Grey Warden, considering what he's done. Some of the Benorn are still saying he should hang. I think most people are relieved, though. Loghain is a hero who saved us from the Orlesians with King Merrick, and we'll never forget that. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take, Take it, for it for what it is. There's a rumor going around that Tyrn Loghain was being paid by Tevinta slavers who were taking elves from the Denerim alienage. Yeah, funny that. Can't be true. Why would Tyrn Loghain do such a thing? Because he's a terrible, the terrible person. Slavers here in Ferelden? It seems almost barbaric. That's what I've heard on the road, anyhow. Take it, Take for, what it, it for what it is. I don't know what. Nice. Something you need? I'm sure. All right. Goodbye, longsword. Uh, that's all we need from there. Uh, alright, we were going to see if that was better for win or something. Okay, honestly, we have got rid of most stuff already. Um, I guess we already checked win, didn't we? Uh, yeah, I like what she's got with extra defense, but for Morrigan, uh, Five magic, five willpower, twelve defense. That is a lot of additional defense to be giving up. Yeah, you can stay in what you've got. All right, which leaves the newcomer, Loghain. I passed your test. 
Fate has a twisted sense of humor, it seems. It does. I suppose you think I'm some sort of monster. More so since I survived your ritual. You keep striking at me, and I just refuse to die decently. If I despise you, it's because you deserve it. Ah, now there's the venom I expected. Well, is that it? Surely you have more to say to me than that. Go on, try out all the curses and insults you know. I'll teach you some new ones if they don't suffice. Uh... You want me to call you names? How about this one? Slaver. Do you honestly think that among all my crimes, that is the one that keeps me awake? Jesus, man. The plight of a few dozen elves in the face of all the hundreds who died at Ostagar, the countless others fighting the civil war that followed, seems irrelevant. Fuck me. Irrelevant? You sold free people to Tevinter. And because you stopped it, the army we have to face the blight is a third the size it should be. And many more How elves wait sense? in the alienage, defenseless for the Darkspawn to reach them. Which fate is worse, I wonder, to live as a slave or to die without hope in the alienage? But the truth of things hardly matters now. You've won. You can decide whatever you like about my guilt. And now what? Am I to be some trophy of your victory? The defeated enemy you drag about on a leash wherever you go? Or have you some worse fate in mind for me? I thought that I would give you to Ogren as his new lover. That is the fate that I think you really deserve. <sighs> you cost me Alistair, you know. Yes, well, you can thank me for that later. I don't I know what concession you, you want from me, Warden. I expect my word will not satisfy you. I need to know I can trust you. Nothing I can say will prove that. Either I will be worthy of trust, or I won't. I think it's time we got to the point here. What do you want from me? My execution was all but arranged. If you'd wanted me dead, you could have had your wish at the lands meet. I assume, then, that you have something else in mind. Uh... You tell me, what do you want? What I want? What an odd question. I want to ride back to Denerim and sit in the war room and find no empty chairs at the table. I want to lose nothing else. I want a line clearly drawn that I can defend. I want an end to this war. All of this can rightly be called my fault. Whether or not you can do better remains to be seen. But if you can make this the end, Warden, I will follow you, I swear it. Well, that's good. Oh, ah. I am glad to have him as like an extra sword, but you're going to have to prove your worth here. I never doubted that. We should speak no more of this at present. Time's wasting. He approves plus 12. Honestly, with me calling him slaver and shit, I was expecting negative. Did you want something? Why do you hate Olay so much? Hate doesn't describe it. I've seen painted masked lords beat an old farmer to death with riding crops. To this day, I don't know why. Is that hate? I saw good, sensible men fight armored chevaliers with nothing. No weapons, no armies, not even hope of success to see the occupation end. Is that hate? Maybe it isn't hate, but it isn't right either. Nothing about war is right. It's a force of nature, like rain, or wind, or faith. It simply exists, and we deal with its consequences. That's your excuse? It's just something that happens? Why did we fight or lay, do you know? We fought them because they came here, plain and simple. And why did they attack us? Because we were here. Tell me again that war is something we bring upon ourselves. In any case, there's no use discussing this. We have much work left to do. I wanted to ask you something first. Very well, then. How well did you know King Marek? He was my friend. 
If he'd wanted to conquer the Fade, I would have led the charge. Why didn't he acknowledge Alistair? He nearly did. Merrick was never one to avoid his duty. And given his preference, he would have acknowledged his son no matter the circumstance. But he had more than his honor to think of. It would have ruined Rowan, after all. She'd be reduced to a concubine in the eyes of our neighbors and put Kalen's status as heir in question. So Merrick made the hard choice. Eamon offered to raise the boy, and that was that. But Kaelin took a peasant's daughter as queen. I was turned by then, and a general. You can buy respect through birth or by bloodshed, I've found. But we've been idle long enough. We should get moving. What made Marek such a great king? There are men who inspire such devotion that everyone around would lay down their lives for him. And there are men who would come and go from this world, and no one notes it. What makes them so? Your guess is as good as mine. Marek was remarkable. That's all I can say of him. How did you meet? I was hunting, well, poaching, to be entirely honest, when a boy my own age came stumbling out of the woods. He was so dirty, you'd have thought he'd been dug up out of the ground. What was he running from? The traitorous bootlickers who'd just murdered the Queen, though I didn't know it at the time. He was bloody, exhausted, and obviously being hunted. I offered to take him to my father's camp. And that boy was Marek? Yes. I didn't find out who he was for a while, though. But I've rattled on for too long already. We should get moving. Very well, then. What would you have done if you'd won? Oh, actually, spicier first. Were you really going to kill Anora? Anora always did have a flair for the dramatic. She could have been a bard. You didn't answer my question. It's a foolish question. I'm sure you think me capable of every sort of evil, but Anora is my only child. So I broke into your, the royal palace for nothing? Well, I'm sure having you come to her rescue gave Anora no small amount of pleasure. Followed but by enough two about betrayals. Anora. We ought to get moving. So much pleasure she betrayed me twice. Very well then. What would you... Oh, what was Anora like as a child? So far as anyone could tell, she was the undisputed monarch of the whole world. <laughs> She'd fall, skin her knees, and command them to stop stinging. <laughs> it may have worked, too. Did she have many friends? Guarin sits in between the Brazilian forest and the sea. It's far from the old Tavinta roads. The village by our keep was never even as big as Redcliffe. There are always a few children around. Charcoal burners, sons and daughters mostly, or the children of servants. They formed into noisy gangs in the courtyard for their games. But Honora never joined them. Uh... Why would Marek give a, you a turn here in the middle of nowhere? Because it was vacant, and though it's off the trade routes close to Denerim, it was a good place for children to grow up. Solitude isn't terrible, you know. She had a free reign over the woods. If you're expecting some particular insight into my daughter's character, I'm afraid I'm probably not the best source. I'm hardly impartial. Uh, are you and Honora close? We understand one another as much as any father and daughter ever do. But this is not really the time or place to discuss my daughter. We have work to do. Very well, then. What would you have done if you'd won? I suppose that depends on how much of the kingdom was left by then. Once the border was secure, the army would have regrouped to push back the Darkspawn in the south. Hmm... But the border was in no danger. It's easy to say now. When Chevaliers were massing on our doorstep, things were a little less clear. In any case, there's no use discussing this. We have much work left to do. Hmm. Very well, then. Of course. Wow, all that chat, and it comes out with low gain disapproves minus six? I guess that makes up for the fucking... Like, the previous conversation, I was calling him a slaver, and he ended up massively approving. And then that conversation, we were chatting about his daughter... And I didn't say anything mean about her, I don't think. And he gets disapproval. Sure. 
I'm surprised. Thank you. I'm surprised. Thank you. His codex updated. I wonder how high it's even possible to get him. Seeing as he joins, like, right at the end. Is there- are there more maps that I've missed? Loghain has defined himself by the borders he seeks to maintain and expand. He is ever the tactician and likes poring over maps both ancient and modern. Did you want something? Of course. Well, there we go. That's it. That is it. You guys are just the emissaries of each of the four places. Makes sense. Makes sense. All right. Guys, I think that's it. Look at everyone. Look at our group. So many people. Morrigan all the way over there. So far away, she's not even fucking, like, spawned in. There we go. <laughs> Doesn't feel right not having Alistair here at the end, man. But I still do think I made the right choice. And at the very least, it's certainly going to be interesting to see how Loghain handles things here in the final hours. But that is what we have to look forward to. Because we are done with everything. We have done every side quest we can. We have done every possible main thing. We have given all the gifts. We have emptied our inventory. We have chatted to everyone in camp one last time. We have been rejected by Morrigan on the night before the biggest battle we have ever faced. Thanks, Morrigan. <laughs> She knows how to make a dude feel great. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah. That means that next time we will be on the path to the end of the game. The grand finale. I don't know how long it's going to take. I don't know if it's just like one part left. And then obviously all the DLC after that. It's not the end of DAO. But the main game at least. I don't know if it's going to be one part, two parts, three parts. Who knows. But it seems like we are pretty much there. And I'm very excited to see how things play out at the end. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this crazy, awesome episode. Madness. Madness occurred. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And if you really like what I do, there is a Patreon link in the description. Anything you could afford to send my way would be hugely helpful with the ongoing running of the channel, the buying of games, all that jazz. And I will see you next time for the start of the end, or maybe the end, if it's not even that long, but for closing in on the finale of Dragon Age Origins. Thanks for watching. See you then.